my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much. Hello students, happy learning. So with that, our objective of the lesson, solving problems involving algebraic expressions. So ito po yung kailangan natin matutunan or ma-master this week. So let's have steps in solving problems involving algebraic expressions. So first, read and analyze or understand the problem carefully. Second, identify the unknown quantity and assign the variable to represent it. Third, Solve the unknown variable and last, interpret your solution to answer the question in the problem. So, ito po yung ating susundang steps. Okay, with that, let's have example number one. There are X people on the bus. At the next stop, seven people get off and ten more get on. How many people are on the bus now? Okay, we have to analyze first, diba? One will say seven people get off. Ibig sabihin po nito, merong pitong taong bumaba mula doon sa bus. And of course, kung meron tayong bumaba, meron tayong sumakay. Or eto yung 10 more get on. So, paano natin malalaman ang how many or the number of people are on the bus now? Okay? So, our solution for this is simply x minus 7 represents the number of people left on the bus when 7 get off. And then, if 10 people get on the bus, the expression would be x minus 7 or quantity x minus 7 plus 10. Ito po yung ating sagot sa tanong na how many people are on the bus now? Okay, next number two. Nico worked x hours finishing his assignment in algebra. He worked y hours less on his assignment in biology. What is the total number of hours he spent on the two subjects? How are we going to answer this question? We have to analyze first. Our solution for this is simply we have to identify the given, diba? Kung meron X hours finishing Nico's assignment in algebra and he worked Y hours less. When we say less, this is simply subtraction. Ibabawas natin yung oras na ginugol niya sa paggagawa ng assignment sa biology. And with that, let x minus 1 represents the number of hours finishing his assignment in biology. And then, because he worked x hours in assignment in algebra and x minus y hours in biology, the total time was x plus the quantity x minus y. Ito po yung ating sagot sa tanong na what is the total number of hours he is spent on the two subjects. So, ito po yung algebraic expression that represent the hours spent of Nico doing his assignment. Okay, let's have number three. Andre deposits an amount of 5,000 pesos in his saving account. Each week after, he made a deposit of 2,000 pesos. How much money does he have after two weeks? Okay, we have to analyze first. Kung meron na siyang na-deposit na 5,000, no, meron, ibig sabihin yan, okay? So, we have a balance. And then, after 3 weeks, nag-deposit siya ulit ng 2,000. How are we going to answer the question, how much money does he have after 3 weeks? Ibig sabihin yan, our solution is simply, Andre deposit every week becomes 2,000 T. Okay, kasi yung T yun yung after 3 weeks. And then, since he had already 5,000 in his account, so after three weeks, ipa-plus lang po natin. Yung kanyang savings becomes 2,000 T plus 5,000. Okay, yan na po yung ating algebra expression. To represent the money, does Andre have after three weeks? Okay, with that, let us let us check what you already know about this lesson. Okay, so number one. Robert wants to fence his rectangular lot if the length of the lot is 3 meters longer. Ibig sabihin, mas mahaba siya ng 3 meters than its width. What's the perimeter of the rectangular lot if its width is y meters? Okay, you have 5 seconds to answer. Okay, the answer is letter A. 4y plus 6 meters. Paano po nakuha yung sagot na yan? Okay, our solution is simply, okay, in-apply po yung formula for the perimeter of a 
rectangle. Remember that is 2 length plus 2 W or we can write as 2 times the quantity length plus W. And then, sinabsitute po yung given. Okay, remember, that is yung length ng rectangular lot is 3 meters longer. Kaya nga, that is Y plus 3. And then, yung width naman natin, di ba, that is represent by Y. Okay, kaya nga, Y plus 3, ito yung length mo. And plus width, yun yung Y mo. Okay, and then you are going to simplify. What is Y plus 3 plus Y? You have to simplify that is 2Y plus 3. Inad po yung Y plus Y. And then you have to apply the distributive property. What is 2 plus 2Y? That is simply 4Y and 2 times 3, that is 6. Kaya nga, ang answer natin is 4Y plus 6 meters. Okay, let's have number 2. If 15 bars of chocolate can be packed in a box, how many bars of chocolate can be packed in 2x plus 3 boxes? Okay, you have 5 seconds to answer. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter C, 30x plus 45. Paano po nakuha yan? Okay, so we have this solution. In-apply po dyan ang multiplication or that is distributive property. Okay, kung meron tayong 15 bars of chocolate, ibig sabihin niyan, ipapak natin doon sa bilang na box, which is 2x plus 3. Kaya nga, i-distribute mo yung 15 doon sa 2x plus 3. Kaya nga, 15 times 2x, that is 30x. And 15 times 3, that is 45. Kaya nga, there are 30x plus 45 bars of chocolate can be packed. Okay, we have number 3. Anna had 300 pesos in her wallet. She bought four ribbons worth X pesos each. How much money is left in her wallet? Okay, you have five seconds to answer. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter C, 300 minus 4X. Okay, so paano po nakuha yung answer natin? Okay, kung meron na siyang 300 pesos sa kanyang wallet, bumili siya ng uh, four ribbons, yung bawat isang ribbon na yan nagkakahalaga ng X pesos. So, Siyempre, you have to multiply 4 times X. Then, the product would be subtract from 300. Kaya nga, that is 300 minus 4X is the money left in her wallet. Okay, let's have number 4. Shakira had 10 roses R in her garden. During weekends, she buys additional roses. Express her total roses in algebraic expression. Okay, we have five seconds to answer. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter D, 10 plus R. Okay, remember kung meron ng 10 roses si Shakira at during weekend, she buys additional. Pag sinabi additional, nag bumili siya madadagdag. Kaya that's plus. Kaya 10 plus R roses. Okay, let's have number five. In grade seven, STE, there are 15 girls and X boys. Which of the following expression represents the total number of students in the class? Okay, you have five seconds to answer. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, 15 plus X. Okay, meaning to say the word total, you have to add the number of girls, which is 15, plus yung X boys. Kaya 15 plus X. Okay, let's have number six. The printing of greeting cards consists of a fixed charge of 150 pesos and a charge of five pesos for each card printed. So what is the cost of printing and cards? Okay, you have five seconds to answer. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter A. 150 plus 5N. Okay, kung analyze natin, di ba? Kung meron siyang fixed charge of 150 pesos, yun yung kanyang ba, uh, amount of pay, no? Okay, and yung bawat printing ng card ay nagkakahalaga ng 5 pesos. Ibig sabihin yan, para masagot natin yung tanong na ilan or what is the cost of printing N cards, you have to multiply yung N doon sa 5. Okay? And then, i-add lang natin doon sa 150. Kaya nga, that is the cost. 150 plus 5N. Okay, let's have number 7. John Jungkook is X years old. How old his, he will be in 10 years? Okay, you have 5 seconds. Okay, 
Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter B. X plus 10. Okay, take note of the word, no? Yung tanong na how old he will be in 10 years, okay, ibig sabihin after 10 years, ilang taon na siya. Ibig sabihin yan, kung siya ay X years old at this present, after 10 years, ilang taon na siya. Kaya nga, you have to add lang. Kaya nga, X, yun yung present age niya, plus 10. Okay, kaya nga, X plus 10 years old. Si John Jungko. Okay, let's have number 8. Kim Taeyong is three years younger than his brother Kim Shok Jin. If Kim Shok Jin age is X, what expression represents for Kim Taeyong age? Okay, five seconds to answer. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter D. X minus three. Take note of this, no? When we say Three years younger. Ibig sabi niya, that is subtraction. Mas uh, mababa kasi or mas uh, bata. Ibig sabi niya, that is minus. Kaya nga, ima-minus natin yung age ni Kim Tae yung doon sa age ni Kim Shok Jin, which is X. Eto si Kim Shok Jin yung X. And yung age naman ni Kim Tae yung yun yung three. Kaya that is the expression or percent for Kim Tae yung age is simply X minus three. Okay, so with that, I hope you learned.